A while ago, I was wondering how I can render hair Houdini in Unreal Engine 5. In today's video, we're gonna see that. In this video, I will render this hair and I will add a physics to it, but strange thing happened actually. Hi again, this is Dyson. Glad to be here. Okay, we are in Houdini. That's where we left off and you can see this tutorial here. Okay, we are in the groom guides. We have this skin and VDB and let me show you the hair node here. We have this final product here. So for the sake of this demonstration first i will create a lambic rope from this guide's hair or supplies okay i want to show you something let's uh, create uh, a lambic rope here and let me rename that let's look quick okay and yeah maybe okay let's hit render or export and now let's fire up uh, Unreal Engine. As usual, let's go to Film, Preset, the blank preset, enable ray tracing, and let's have a name, for instance, Piggy, and let's fire up this bad boy. Okay, in meanwhile, what about the sound quality, baby? <laughs> I love it, honestly, and so many of you guys have a problem with it, so I guess this is gone. Okay, we are in the Unreal Engine. Let me disable this. Let's go to Content Browser. Okay, let's import our Alembic file. Let me see. Okay, that's our Alembic file. And you see, it's recognized that. And let's import and boom. Huh? It's not going to happen. Why is that? We need to enable some plugin for the grooms here okay let's search grooms and let's enable these three grooms uh, pay attention this is a beta and experimental plugin keep that in mind okay let's start the engine and let's see what we have now okay we are in the unreal engine again let's import our asset now and where are you and this is our alembic now it's different it's recognized as a groom and let me change this uh, transforms here to align it with the houdini maybe yeah the rotation oh sorry the x and rotation let's import that okay first let's reset our position and let's uh, scale this up to 100 and boom that's fabulous we have our hair now let me bring this grid down and yeah let's go to the hair and in here let's adjust our width i guess sorry i am the wrong uh, object and let me see and that's our hair as you can see that's lovely okay you see that the the render is uh, nice the interaction with the light is fabulous i love it now let me show you something cool let's go to houdini and let's go to the hair uh, nodes here and let me export uh, the hair strand or the final hair in houdini okay let's export that and let's import that in unreal by the default setting and that okay this are it's okay and same thing let's drag it let's reset the position a hundred scale and you see that this is identical let me increase the hair length here okay you see that it's barely is identical and those are awesome but this is the actual hair the final product and this one is the guides okay you see that the final product is what we need here 
So if you need to export the hair from Houdini to the Unreal Engine, please export the hair node. That's what we need. And do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. That's mean a lot to me. Thanks. Okay, now let's go to Houdini again and let me export our piggy here. But first, let's triangulate that. That's our piggy. Let's create divide node. Okay. Sorry, not subdivide. I mean divide node. Where are you? Okay. And let's try and get it that. And now let's have a name for it. And let's export that. And let's import it from here. Okay. Everything is okay. The transition. Let me change that okay and again reset the position and have a hundred and that's our piggy so the exciting part hair physics in unreal engine that's everyone wait for including me so let's hit the simulate and play the game nothing happened and let me create a sequence of course and let me show you something but nothing happened as usual we don't have any groom cash here so how we can achieve this how we can add physics to this hair you see if i move the hair nothing happened either okay in order to have a physics in our engine we need to go to groom properties here okay this is the attribute we're gonna is skip that and let's go to physics that's the interesting part okay now let's enable that and let me show you here and voila we have some decent not bad physics or movement or simulation okay now let's improve that okay let's go to strand now and let's increase that and voila that's so amazing you see that that's so fast and light man i love this unreal engine real time approach i love you guys and we have a bunch of uh, solvers here and yeah we have the spring for instance we have this force and let me see you see that uh, let's have a for instance uh, some force here okay it's not bad you see the force is applying and man for 15 years working with hair simulation cinema 4d houdini etc that's awesome feedback man i love the unreal engine approach to the real time i love it and i so much appreciate it thank you guys so now let's attach the hair to the this piggy of course we can uh, we can go to the binding option here but i want to have a short answer and sim simple approach let's have uh, this one <laughs> child of this piggy and boom <laughs> nice that's a lovely hack okay i love the feedback man i love it i'm so impressed okay as you can see that's the light with the hair and lumen it's doing a great job having said that this scene is available on my patreon so if you have a houdini hair simulation you can export that with this alembic range and import that as a groom cache in unreal engine okay we have our hair in unreal engine and now what's about the look what's about the material that's an important question to ask okay turns out in this section we need a special material let me show you let's create a new material and let me rename that and let's go to the material and let's have this a default material let's promote the color for instance and maybe let's have a default red color here 
and le let let's apply and save that and let me show you something here and let's apply that nothing happened it's not accepted honestly so what's the problem turns out we need a special material for it okay without touching any notes here in the setting shading model we need to change that to here as you can see we have a different option here okay that's our shading model and we need to enable these using for hair strand okay let's apply and let's save and let's see now it's worked as you can see you see that it's accepted now let me show you and let me go here i will never leave you on engine and let uh, promote some setting here right click promote promote we need it for the instance material and yeah and for instance this one the subsurface scattering is a nice option i will show you later in the lumen and let me create instance from this material and let me apply it here okay let me see okay now it's applied and let me show you the setting here okay we have uh, this option and you see it's working with the chrome uh, in unreal engine and i love the result so the light is fabulous the lumen light with uh, the chrome now i want to tell a story for you i found something interesting in groom unreal 5.2 preview that's so important we are in the preview build okay we have this sequencer with this camera cut and if i uh, if i want to animate the piggy i want to rotate that that's so important so you see that when i uh, sorry rotate our piggy first the hair will gone and let me rotate that okay that's what i need and that's our animation the hair is gone so keep that in mind and let me uh, bring the hair back uh, so let's go to the hair you can bring the hair uh, with this hair with option where are you yeah okay in here you see the hair is back that's okay but when i play that you see the hair going to freak out i don't like where this is going you see that that's not good for the prod production level you see and that's because this simulation or physics object when you have this physic enabled, you cannot, you cannot rotate uh, the hairs. You see that? If I move the hair or move the geometry, everything it's okay. But you see, when I rotate the hair, it's gonna freak out. So keep that in mind and do not use this groom in the production level now the final question what about the hair render setting in unreal engine so we have this default lumen engine and actually it's straightforward let me show you the render setting here let me disable that and add apple prores for the quick time clip movie that's mov and anti-aliasing here let me adjust that for the sake of this demonstration and hit the render so that's straightforward you can adjust the anti-lacing uh, as you desire okay that's a sampling and now let's go to the path tracing that's interesting so you see that the width with uh, path tracing it's uh, a difference uh, turns out i don't i don't know if that's a bug or uh, the rules of the groom i guess it's not uh, 
you see you, you need to adjust uh, the width of the hair with the path tracing and uh, honestly the path tracing is uh, cooler and have a, a more uh, realistic to it okay let's have a material here and the lighting you see that I love this pass-through light uh, of the hair and let me show you the setting with uh, the path tracing you see you can change the roughness or this uh, color hair and the subsurface scattering is lovely I love it you see the light it's awesome and everything seems to work nicely here and now let's have a, a post processing volume and I want to adjust some setting let's have a, a bloom for instance you see nothing going to happen here it's not affect our scene that's because we need to enable this unbound that's so important do not forget this one okay now everything it's worked and the bloom for instance let's have a small of bloom and maybe this one okay i want to show you something here where are you okay the path tracing setting okay we are in the path tracing as you can see we have this per pixel that's uh, determine uh, our render time and you see the lower this of value it's the faster uh, render time and and of course with uh, low quality we have this denoise option and uh, let me see okay we have this new option in 5.2 you see that we have this atmosphere and or the skies uh, in the renderer in the path tracer and I love this option you see that we didn't have in the previous uh, version 5.1 and lovely it was missing in my opinion and I love it now so uh, for the render setting let me save that and let's go to here and the render setting we need uh, to disable that and add path tracer that's so straightforward I don't see any extra option and that's our render so I rendered that with high samples as you can see this is a clean render but you see the physics it's not good honestly I didn't know uh, the problem so I figured it out with this one I lower the samples and you see the hair physics it's cooler now so I guess the groom physics is the issue in the unreal 5.2 preview and do not use it in the production level and I guess that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next video take care